people get away with this because a wo the word repent is not common in our language. So one, it's just grossly misunderstood in general. And it's easier for people to be confused about it because it's a word that you don't use day to day in general. So when someone tells you, oh, well, this is what repentance is, okay. But when you read the scripture and if you apply what that's saying in every passage, look, look, here's the thing. Some people will give you a definition of repentance that it means that you have to turn from your sins. That's what it means to repent. You have to turn from your sins. But right off the bat, if you use that definition consistently, every single time the Bible uses the word repent, you've got big problems right away. Right away, you have problems. And we're going to look at these passages and not just refer to them and not just say, oh, well, Jesus and John taught repentance, so this person doesn't teach repentance. And, you know, I don't know what they're thinking. Well, look, why don't you listen to what we're thinking? Why don't you get in your Bible and, and hear and hear from the Word of God and you'll be able to understand, hopefully you'll be able to understand, unless you're blind. If you're spiritually blind, you won't get this. But hopefully you do. Luke 13 is where we're starting. And, you know, sorry, let me finish that point. The reason why I say you got a big problem if you're using the definition of turn from sin is because God repents. And God's not a sinner. So if God repents in Scripture, which we'll get to that. Don't worry, we're going to get to that passage. I'm not just going to, we'll go and I'll point you to at least one of those instances. We're not going to, this is homework for you if you really want to know more about the subject. And if you're unsure about this or unsettled, then I really encourage you, get a concordance, get a, a software application, look for the word repent, repentance, any form of repent, and read the context every time it's used. It's a good way to learn. It's a good way to study. Just look and see what does the Bible say about this and let the Bible teach you. You can understand, okay, well, I've heard this from this preacher. I've heard this from that preacher. I've heard people say different things. What does the Bible say? You have to do that with everything that you believe. This is just one of those doctrines. And unfortunately, when you have people trying to teach contrary to what I'm going to teach tonight, they're not going to bring you very many places in the Bible. But Luke 13 is one that they'll bring up very frequently. So I want to start with Luke 13, because if you just read it for what it says, it doesn't teach a works-based salvation of your soul going to heaven at all. But we're going to see what this says. Look at verse number 1 in Luke chapter 13. The Bible says, There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. So, Jesus is there, and there's people bringing up this story about these Galileans that had these sacrifices, and apparently Pilate had killed them and mingled uh, their blood with their sacrifices, right? Like there's this, this massacre or whatever of these Galileans that we got mingled in, there, in with their sacrifices, and, and some, you know, many people must have died here. And they're, they're talking about this. And then in verse 2, the Bible says, And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? So he's, he's saying, well, so, so what? What do you think? Do you think that these people were just super extremely wicked and just way worse sinners than everyone else, which is why they had that happen to them? He's saying, what do you think? Do you think that's the case? you think this is happening unto them just because they were so horrible and so wicked and so bad? He says, I tell you nay. He says, No. This didn't happen to them just because they're just so much worse than everyone else. He says, but except you repent, ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He's saying, no, this didn't happen to them just because they're, they're just exceeding sinful above everybody else. That's not why that happened. He says, but unless you repent, basically, you're going to, you know, that word likewise, it means in the same manner. 